Hey guys, I'm very proud and happy to be here at the Dadario booth at the convention of the International Society of Bassists with my friend Jason Hees. And as you know, from time to time, I'm doing the Bavarian bass talk. And the Bavarian bass talk, Jason, just to explain you in short words, should be a source of knowledge for bass players all over the world to share experience and uh, and work and styles what we do on the bass. So for the Bavarian bass days, as you might know, I am uh, very focused on getting people together there. So you are working so much in the United States, also internationally. What is your opinion and what is your future side on the bass? What do you think where our ways will go? the next years? Well, I think it's the most exciting time to be alive as a bass player right now. Yeah. These last, let's say, 20 years, the bass has had a, an exponential growth in all ways, and, and that's in part the luthier that are out working. They've made basses easier to play. We've started getting bassists starting younger and you are one of the people that are playing a large part in that with your mini bass project so we're having and we're starting to find this generation of people that started on bass when they were mm -hmm. young mm -hmm. They're now starting to hit their early 20s and starting to blossom yeah, yeah. and and the amount of Composers out there writing for the bass and composer performers. It's kind of like the great old days of Paganini and Bottazzini uh -huh, uh -huh, with uh -huh. people like Andres Martin performing and composing for the instrument and you and Simone Garcia, David Hayes and so many other people and the bass events that are popping up worldwide are just astonishing. So I think we're just at the beginning of this huge growth curve and it's just so exciting to be a bassist right now. Yeah, that's I mean, you take my words. <laughs> I I I'm I, that, that's completely my thing. And if you see that festivals all over the world they are popping up everywhere like you said. Uh, do you have something in mind that can be improved or you think it's it's all it's all good or you you have ideas that you would like to spread for 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 the for the community I think it's it's important to get as many people at the local level involved as possible it's th these are beautiful events like the the larger events like the International Society of Bassists or Bass Europe where we bring together maybe a thousand bass players or even more sometimes uh -huh. but the, uh, the local events like your Bavarian bass days that the, both in Germany and in the just the greater region in Europe yeah. or us in San Francisco with the Golden Gate Base Camp and the Bay Area in California. It's important to tap into the, the orchestras there, to the conservatories there, to the jazz scene there. And I think it's really important to, I, I love what you're doing in the world of rock and incorporating that. And I think it's so important to get out and bridge the gap between different styles. Like for example, yeah, the Golden Gate absolutely. Base Camp, we have Brian Bromberg coming mm -hmm. in this year and he's going to be exploring all the things that he does, both electric and upright bass. We're now incorporating more and more electric bass because we're all one big bass family and mm -hmm. we're, we're all much more similar than we and might realize. And that's something that, I mean, that's the major goal of the future to get that family, I think, together more yep. and more and more and more also to forget about nations, yep. to use our base as a common language. And I think over the last years, we are maybe an example of sharing that experience very good. And I want to invite everybody, especially you, to come to the Bavarian Base Days as soon as you can. And everyone out there to join us. And I thank you so much for just sharing your thoughts on that. Thank you much. Thank you very much, Thank Jason Hees. I appreciate it so much.